So in this video, we will learn how to use or how to do the long division. So here we are going to solve some of the question in which we will perform the long division method. So let's see how to do that one. So here you have a numerator and the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. So try to do the long division method. So in the long division, write down like that x square minus 3x plus 2 means the numerator you will write inside and it becomes the dividend whereas x plus 1 in the denominator you will write outside the division sign and it will become your divisor now take the first term of the dividend in the rough column and divide it with the first term of the divisor that is x you know when you have the same base then we just minus or subtract the power so x2 minus 1 it will give you x power 1 whatever we will get you will write it in the quotient so you will have x now after that one by one multiply this x by this x so x times x gives you x square write it under this x square now multiply x with the 1 you will get 1x so plus 1x write it under the x now in the division you know that we always subtract okay so in sub rather than writing or saying x square minus x square say like that the easiest way is that you just change the sign of the newly formed dividend that means here it becomes negative and this is positive make it negative now plus x square minus x square they cancel out now you have minus 3x and this one is minus 1x. So minus 3 minus 1, it gives you minus 4 and then x. Now plus 2, bring it down. Now again, go to the rough side and divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor. So x and x cancel, you will get negative 4. Whatever you get, write it in the quotient, that means negative 4. Now, multiply this negative 4 by the divisor, 1 by 1, and write it in the, write it as a dividend. So, negative 4 times x will give you negative 4x. Then, negative 4 times 1 gives you negative 4. As we said, change the sign. So, negative becomes positive. This negative becomes positive. So, minus 4x plus 4x cancel each other plus 2 plus 4 will give you 6 and that's all so here you don't have any x or you can say you have the x but with the zero power so you will stop doing the division div stop doing the division if the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor so here you can write it first the remainder that means the 6 First the quotient, that means x minus 4, so you write down the quotient, then write the remainder divided by the divisor, that is x plus 1. So this is the way we perform the division and this is the way we write in the end. Let's solve one more question, x cube minus 3x squared plus 5 divided by x minus 3. So the numerator will be inside the divisor, the division sign now here x cube minus 3x square here you don't have any x so just write here plus 0x if you don't have any of the degree coming in the middle of the question always write it with the zero coefficient and this plus 5 right over here now the divisor is x minus 3 which will be written outside the division sign now, as I said, in the rough column, write the first term of the dividend and divide it with the first term of the divisor. So, if you subtract the powers x cubed divided by x, you will get x squared because 3 minus 1 will give you 2. So, whatever you get, write it in the quotient. Now, 1 by 1, multiply with the divisor and write it down. So x square times x will give you x cube. 
x square times negative 3 will give you negative 3x square. Now after that change the sign. So here plus here minus it becomes here it is minus so becomes plus. Plus x cube minus x cube cancels. Minus 3x square plus 3x square cancels. 0x anything multiplied by 0 is 0. No need to write and write it down 5. Here, here the x has a 0 power whereas here x has a 1 power so stop here. How we will write? We write the quotient first that means x square plus remainder upon divisor. So here you have remainder 5 and the divisor is x minus 3. One more, one more example. Now when we write it inside the division sign, we will write all the degrees. If some degrees are not in the question, we will write with the coefficient 0. So we will write here x4. With after 4 comes 3 power, right? From highest till least power. You don't have x cube in the numerator, so you write here 0x cube. Now you don't have x square also, so just write here 0x square. Then you have plus x, write it down. Then you have minus 4, write it down. And in the divisor, write down the denominator that is x square plus 4. Now we know that the First term of the dividend will be divided with the first term of the divisor. 4 minus 2 will give you 2 power. So x square, whatever we will get, we will write in the quotient form. Now one by one, we will multiply this x square with the divisor. x square times x square gives you x to the power 4. x square times 4 will give you 4x square. So under the x square, you write plus 4x square. Now change the sign. So plus changes into minus. Here plus changes into minus. So cancel out. Here 0x cube is coming in the start. So anything multiplied by 0 is 0. So we don't write it because it is useless to write 0x cube. So here 0x square minus 4x square, it will give you minus 4x square. Write down the other terms, that means the plus x minus 4. Now repeat your, all the steps means multiply, divide the first term of the dividend with the first term of the divisor, x square, x square, x square cancel, you will get negative 4. Whatever you get, you write it in the quotient. Now multiply your quotient negative 4 with 1 by 1 with the divisor. Negative 4 times x square gives you negative 4x square. Negative 4 times positive 4 gives you negative 16. So write under the constant. Change the sign. So negative 4x square plus 4x square cancel. Now write down the x as it is. Negative, negative 4 plus 16 gives you plus 12. Now here you have x the first x the first thing first term of the dividend and in the divisor you have x square. Degree of x that is 1 is less than the degree of the divisor that is 2. So stop doing more division operation. So what you have first of all we write the quotient that is x square minus 4 then plus remainder that is x plus 12 upon divisor that is x squared plus 4. Hope you understand. So practice such kind of the question in order to make yourself perfect.